<laughs> Welcome to All About The Bass. I'm Lee. I'm Cece. Today we are discussing GK, Galen Kruger, the lovely... Legacy range. Yes, legacy range of amplifiers. Um, I think they've actually been out a little while, like a year, yeah. year or two or so, but we are a little bit late to the party, but when we're late, we do it in style. So yeah. we, we have got all the stock, right, for, for, for Europe. So if you're looking for, for something like this, you know, if you're a GK fan, this is the newest incarnation of amps, and we're uh, showing them off today. So um, that was lovely, though. That was dangerous. <laughs> Cece's playing with some gorgeous effects again. And it's, that Mel sound. Nine's really weird. I forgot that when you take your finger off a note, it just goes, "I'm done now." Uh, oh, does it? Oh, what with <laughs> yeah. so the backing just disappeared. Yeah, at least how I have it set. Go on, let's have, let's have a bit. Let's have a bit. This is amazing. Oh, what did I have on the Golden Plexi Hall of Fame and the Mel Nine? Yeah. <laughs> yes, done. I'm out. <laughs> Nice though. Right, darn it. Yeah, beautiful. No, <laughs> beautiful stuff. So, yeah, Gannon and Kruger. What's your experience with Gannon and Kruger? Not yes. a lot, really. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> my, my experience has really been in, in stores. Uh, yeah. And, and being based with Andertons as well. And, um, Same with me, gear. really. Yeah. Mainly in Andertons. Yes, absolutely. And, and I, I, we used to keep the, the smaller, um, more solid state combos that are, are some more lightweight and uh, go up against something like the Rumble, Fender Rumble range. But this is where we get into the the pro end. Everything's um, yeah, just that extra bit of special sort of yeah. care and attention has been put in, and the quality of the components. Um, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll sort of uh, run you through. Th this one is the 800 combo. I'm playing through here um, of the Legacy. This is I think based on the 800 RB from memory. I'm trying to remember this right. <laughs> Don't shout at me, you lot. Um, but this was kind of modelled on one of their first amps that came out in. Uh, late 60s, early 70s, when they're designing, um, which is quite an interesting story as well. We were looking yeah. into it, like, yeah. yeah. So these guys pretty much invented the D-class bass amp, the solid state bass amp. So um, just looking through the bit of the history, so Fender at the time, doing the twin, we might even have some round us here, but the Fender twin was 44 watts, valve, Marshall was super lead, was 100. Yep. But people just wanted a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> like, a bit more grunt and, uh, and there wasn't really any specific bass amp or companies out there. Yeah, they seem to be the first that really dedicated their sound to actually bass and not just guitar amps that were kind of rerouted for bass. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, totally. So yeah, with that came that new solid state D-class mm. technology. Apparently they got 220 odd watts out of this first prototype. So that was <laughs> unheard of at the time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, yeah. Well, he brought uh, the first one he brought into the shop at like the prototype and uh, Santana happened to walk in, <laughs> oh, yeah. walked away with it and played it at Woodstock. Right, nice. Not a bad start. That was at Woodstock as well. Yeah. Right? Jeez, right, so th this is cool, right, yeah. So um, <laughs> Dave was also the same, another little Santana story just then as well, about him yeah. making all these prototypes. PRS as well, he was in <laughs> yeah. there. Right? So like, 
Cheeky, cheeky, but obviously he's doing well for himself, old Carlos. <laughs> so uh, we should question that. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's cool. So Carlos got the, uh, the first inclination, half guitar, half bass amp thing. Um, but yeah, these guys most sort of recognized, I, I knew Flea for playing them. I know yeah. you said, yeah, just Justin changed Chancellor. Over. Yeah, Justin, Flea's yeah. just changed to Ampeg, but he's played Galleon Kruger for the longest time. Totally, yeah. yeah. And Duff, I always remember seeing Duff McCaggan, it's just in base magazines, it used yeah. to be like, who are these? Like Duff standing by this big stack, GK, GK, what is that? Um, but never got to actually play until, until coming here, really. Yeah. And feeling them and hearing them in the room, it's quite, it's quite special. They are amazingly clear. Yeah, yeah, like real high-fi kind of clarity yeah. to it. Um, but yeah, I've, that's enough chat about it, about the lovely, <laughs> lovely uh, sounds, we should probably just play it. Tones! Let's get the tones! tones. Let's see what it does. So yeah, this is the Legacy 500 head, and we've got, I think these are two tens. They look like tens, two yeah, ten Neo are. cab. So let's see what it does. But feel free, All right? Okay, let's see what I've got. Lovely. Oh. Thank you. That was it sounded huge from from where I am. Like, how's it to actually play with? Yeah, it's like, nice. It's really control. responsive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really really lovely. I mean, so even pushing it like with the overdrive, they can hear it's like very kind of old school. Yeah. It's no. What I'm trying to say. This isn't bad, by the way. It's like it's no dark glass overdrive, yeah. is it, or like distortion. It's like um, more old school. It is. I'm yeah. To say, like a vintage it's a overdrive. Grittier. Yeah. 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 Um, but lovely, and say yeah, we're saying the mid, that low mid range as well in this room yeah, is really it's filled up. You can so, really feel it. Yeah, really, really beautiful. So this is say the legacy range available in whatever you should like. You have different heads, cabs, different speaker sizes, different combo sizes as well. This is I think one of the biggest ones, the 800, but there are different ones available as well. Um, not to be confused with the Fusion series, which you shouldn't do because it's pretty different. Um, but just to differentiate, the Fusion is kind of taking um, bits of this, a bit of the old, and a bit of the new. We looked yep. at that in the last video where we had yeah. a quick little go on them, and you'll see that's with all the push yeah, with um, pops the on them. Pretty light. Yeah, so if you want <laughs> extra sort of dimensions to, to morph in your sound as well, um, imagine this, imagine this kind of quality of sound, but you've got all of them buttons of push pull and the push button does something different again. They've so, all got like extra shaping and all, all yeah. sorts of stuff. And even that was, really really lovely to play yeah. with and and again some amazing frequencies that are really sort of pushing mm. pushing for that so if that's more your bag check out the fusion range but we'll probably do it a, a, like we're doing here a bit of a more of a sort of range overview on that as well if you're interested so um this is just to give you a bit of a heads up of the legacies the legacies and we've got all the stock all of the stock all of it all of it <laughs> you wouldn't expect anything less from us right so come down here just give them a go if you can. That's the best way. Rig them up. Speak to the guys here. Guys and gals will help you out. Um, give us a call if there's any questions. But say, we are here to help. We are your Gallon and Kruger experts, as it were. <laughs> give us a shout. So I, I don't think anything else much to say. We should okay. do some more playing with the lovely people. And see you on the next one. Cool. Yeah.